Hey everybody, now we have a movie that proves that Paris loves lovers. The 1957 MGM musical, Silk Stockings, starring Fred Astaire and Sid Charisse. Now, movie producer Steve Canfield, Fred Astaire, wants Russian composer Peter Borov, Wim Sonfeld, wants his music for his new movie and tries to help him stay in Paris. The Russian government is displeased with this and sends three commissars. That's played by Jules Munchen, Pierre Lorry, and uh, Joseph Buloff to bring him back. Now when Steve distracts them with wine, women, and song, Special Envoy Nina Yoshenko, said Charisse, is sent to try again. She proves to be more resilient, but as the attraction between her and Steve develops, even she manages to loosen up, and uh, Steve proposes to her. However, when Nina, Peter, and the three commissars hear how o o Peter's music has been changed for the movie, they are all offended, and they return to Russia. Now, this movie was based on a then-recent Broadway musical with music by Cole Porter. And, of course, this show was based on the 1939 comedy, Ninochka. A lot of the score from the Broadway show was kept for the movie, with a couple of new songs written specifically for the movie. These include the songs Faded to be Mated and Ritz Roll and Rock. And there were also a few altered lyrics on some others in order to comply with the censors. Personally, Ritz Roll and Rock is probably my favorite song from this movie, although to be fair, er, er, most of the music is a lot of fun. Now, it's a song Fred Astaire apparently asked composer Cole Porter to write for the movie to, uh, due to the recent popularity of rock and roll. Now, for me, it's just a fun song to remember, and it's one that al almost always seems to be at least partly stuck in my head. Certainly even more so when I actually wa when I watch the movie. Now, the song All of You also manages to be quite memorable. Although... In my opinion, it's one of those songs that I'm surprised made it past the censors considering the suggestive nature of a good fraction of the lyrics. But in general, this movie is one that I very, very much enjoy. For me, the cast just makes it work. Fred and Sid dance, dazzle on the dance floor, alone and together. Janice Page is hilarious, with the character essentially spoofing the famous swimming actress Esther Williams. All three of the Russian commissars are fun to watch, including Pierre Laurie, who certainly seems like an odd choice in the musical, especially considering his dancing appears to be very limited, but he still manages to make the comedy work. Again, a movie I have so much fun watching, not to mention getting some of the music stuck in my head, and it's one that I definitely would recommend highly. Now, this movie is available on Blu-ray and DVD from Warner Archive Collection and is 1 hour and 58 minutes in length. Well, that's all I have to say on this one, everybody, so thanks for tuning in, and I hope you'll be back again for the next one.